Uh, um, it felt good to be back, but um, it was completely different to what I'm used to, which is Formula 3 in Asia because um, of the tire compound and the engine and, you know, the different tracks. The tracks here in Europe are, have more grip. So it was very different. It was like night and day. So adapting to the car and the tires and, you know, the physical aspect of it was super difficult. But, you know, I try, I trained a few months before, but, you know, it wasn't enough that you have to be in the car more often to get used to it. So, yeah, after, let's say, one, the first race, I was like, okay, maybe I could get the hang of it. And then the second race, you know, I managed to at least finish. Yeah, so my childhood, I would say I was three years old. I was uh, in the desert with my father and he put me on a rental quad bike, like the small ones, because I've been begging him that I wanted to try and ride it. So he put me in one of the small ones. And he would like be next to me, you know, to protect me from not falling off and, you know, hurting myself. And then... I was angry and I told him to remove his hands and I started going alone and they were chasing me and I went up the sand dune, down the sand dune. And my dad was surprised that it was in me, that I loved, you know, all this adrenaline stuff. So, yeah, that was my first moment. My father, he was the first person who gave me that idea of motorsports because it's not very common in the UAE. In the UAE, it's more so like football and horse riding that are the most common sports in the Middle East. So when I saw motorsports, um, I actually asked him to train me because I wanted to take part in karting. And he coached me in karting. And then from there, that's when I started to move up. I started actually at 14, quite late. it would be very negative and I thought there would be a lot of fighting and a lot of arguing but actually we took all the positives in it we were actually helping each other giving each other advice um my dad you know he would make a scoreboard if he finishes ahead of us he gets points on his own his own scoreboard and me and my sister we sometimes have arguments like since karting we always have arguments and <laughs> but it goes away you know it just happens for one day we don't talk to each other for a few hours and then it's all okay after so yeah it's very challenging because you know, we don't have the same let's say opportunities as male drivers let alone like me from the middle east i think people already assume that i already have a huge backup when it's not true actually we are looking for sponsors we're trying to find you know people who could actually put us uh, back into the racing field so it's not it's not uh, we don't have the same opportunities as our competitors and there isn't a lot of girls competing you can find let's say one or two per series uh in a in a long time so yeah there isn't as much opportunities handed over to us I mean, it's um, it's the same car. It's not the same as the Alpine, let's say, you know, with the grip level and everything and a different engine. But the competition level is super high. I think it's the same as in Europe because all the top drivers who compete in F FIA F3, in Freca, and many other championships, tough championships, are all in the same series. And... The timings are super close and it's also like a really big grid. So it's the competition level is, I was surprised to even notice how high the competition became. So yeah, it was, it's super tough. Once the lights are out, we're underway and we are underway with race three. Jack Crawford's got away, but Gabriel Mini had drivers. Oh, big contact rear of field. That's unfortunate. That's the sort of thing we don't want to be seeing. Yeah, like with the impact, um, I didn't remember anything, but my back was hurting me a lot and uh, because of the impact. So as soon as I got out of the car, I had to sit down 
and um, try to like relax my body because my back, I I thought I broke it. So, um, but then, you know, thankfully, like um, with the seat belts and all the um, protection from the car, I got out okay. Um, I just had like a small sprain on my back muscle, which wasn't a big deal. So the safety features in the car, thanks to the FIA, was super helpful. It actually saved my life. I wouldn't say it's very different to a single seater. It's quite similar. It's just heavier, less downforce, less speed, obviously, but uh, and it's uh, much wider. So there is more stability. Um, there is some power steer so you don't struggle with the steering and the physical side so there are some aspects to it that is similar to a single seater so any drivers from single seaters jump into an lmp3 or lmp2 car it's like super easy for them to get used to very different because it's very light um there's no vibrations like from an, any engine and uh, there's no paddle shifts as well so it's a very smooth car. Um, I find it quite simple to drive as well. Um, tires are different um, for street tracks. So um, it's different and it has its nice aspects of it. In the future, I would say I would like to compete in Alpine, but with better preparation. Um, yeah, I want to be let's say within the mid pack or so and be within the pace so hopefully in the future i have more preparation to be in that field um i would say you know to gain confidence to believe in yourself and um to keep pushing keep persisting more and not to have doubtful thoughts <laughs>